Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Uh, am I audible to everyone? All right. Okay, so I'll start with the, the topic. Uh, as you all know, the topic is basically enhancing employee experience and operational efficiency with self-service and IT asset management. Uh, and uh, so this is my brief introduction. Uh, my name is Asim Jalil. I am the sales manager at EZO, which is the name of the company. We are a US-based organization operating globally in different areas of the world. We uh, specialize in asset management, IT asset management, non-IT asset management, and inventory management, and service management as well. Uh, I am covering the sales growth and partnerships for uh, Europe, MENA, LATAM, and IPEC region. And I'm also, uh, these are one of my goals, uh, helping customers and business to grow simultaneously. I work for the success of the uh, customers and business by creating an impact. And, uh, and you're also seeing some of the brand logos of our customers. We have around about uh, 3,500 plus uh, customers using our product. And uh, then we have around about more than 1 million users and uh, 75 million assets are being tracked and managed with the help of our product. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the brief outline what we are going to talk about today. It's going to be employee experience, uh, impact on business value, and uh, service catalog. You, you might have uh, the idea of what service catalog is and its value for the organization. An uh, introduction to our product assets on our and it's, it's a roadmap what we are going to launch. Uh, employee experience. So I, I think uh, let's just start this with the one question that uh, how many of you faced challenge with IT uh, while working as an employee? If you can just raise your hand. Did you ever face any challenge in IT, not with IT people, IT staff? Anyone? You did. Okay. All right. So, all right. So we're going to talk about it. Thank you so much. Okay. Why is it important? Uh, so employee-centric approach uh, to ITSM is important. Uh, definitely, when we talk about IT asset and ITSM, uh, specifically assets, so employee is an asset to an organization. And if the employee is happy, then definitely the productivity and overall efficiency is going to increase. And uh, this is about uh, a research from different research. Um, uh, it showed that the positive uh, employee experience are more than um, 60, 16 times engaged as compared to the negative experience of the employee. What it does, it, it improved employee experience, uh, higher recommendation, uh, engagement, and retention of the employee with the organization which overall increases the productivity for the business and the overall growth as well. Uh, so as you met, as you've raised, uh, some of you uh, raised your hands on the challenges you have faced, we're going to talk about uh, some of the challenges that uh, might going to be the same which you, uh, which you, which you experienced. So, so the common challenges in IT organization is, um, or in any organization is going to be IT service desk issues. Whenever we have issue with our laptop, computer, or any other device that we, we use, uh, there is this, we, we're looking for a process in an organization. How do they entertain requests? How do they manage that process within the exact uh, time that it does not cause me any delay in my work? Uh, then incidents and break fixes issues. Uh, we, we have a solution. I'm going to talk about what is a solution that uh, handles and manages the incident and break fixes issues. And the lack of self-service options. So definitely it's a, uh, it's a lot of responsibility on an agent and an IT manager to handle and manage a lot of requests, tickets on a daily basis. So how we can improve uh, this process by adding more self-service impact to it so that it will be easier for the agents and for the employees to reduce the uh, time of uh, improving that uh, or covering that uh, problem. Uh, onboarding. Definitely, uh, there is this process of onboarding which requires uh, people to have their specific systems so that they can start working with us and uh, specific solutions, specific softwares that they will be using when they join the organization. Uh, service catalog. It's, uh, it's, it's revolutioning uh, ITSM 
services tool and what are the core benefits of service catalog? It increases the employee productivity. Employee productivity and satisfaction, uh, delivering excellent uh, employee experience. So the value proposition for personas are different. For employee, it's basically convenience, ease of use, and uh, eventually promoting self-service. And for help desk agents, is, is it going to be streamlined IT requests, uh, increased transparency, access to essential asset management needs through the application? And for uh, the administrators and executives, definitely it will help them with the reporting, with reducing the SLA time, and uh, with uh, reducing maintenance cost and uh, making the right decisions for the procurement, for the next procurement. Uh, then there's a other features which are included in the service catalog capability that includes uh, customized uh, and purpose-built self-service tool, real-time updates, and control, control visibility. So be, I'm going to talk about three scenarios um, in which we'll be seeing how service catalog is helping uh, making improvements in an organization. The first one is going to be onboarding process. So for example, Sarah joins the organization and uh, she joins us in the customer support department. So, so she needs specific softwares and systems to start working with the company. So in service catalog, there is this uh, feasibility where you can set the departmental level customization so you can have different customizations for different departments, and you can create a checklist according to that department, and it's going, going to be customized, like if Sara has joined in the uh, customer success department, what kind of uh, integrations or systems does she need to start working on? And what is going to be the active directory and the relevant hardware and software solutions, which you will be using. So IT or HR initiates a request. Uh, Alicia has a ticket for her to start in the customer support department. And uh, so now, she, using the ticket, the agent adds Sara to um, uh, Active Directory and hand over the respective uh, assets, laptop or device or monitor that she will be using uh, while her period with the company. And softwares via the application which she will be using. So this is, this is a one scenario. In the next scenario, um, where which it talks about the incident and break fix workflow, and uh, here uh, it's going to be the report of an issue. So Sarah's laptop fell, and now her sys screen is broken. She is <laughs> unable to use her laptop at system. Uh, yes, it's about Sarah, and uh, so. There is this complete visibility of the assets in her custody. So how she can use this, like uh, she can reduce the work for agents and for herself as well. So she can open up the service catalog. Um, she can go and see what asset is assigned to her and she can raise a ticket. And on the other hand, uh, the asset that she has will automatically be linked to that ticket because she picked that up from the service catalog. And then it's going to be the faster response time. The next action is going to be through the agent. Agent will open up the ticket and see that Sara reported an issue to this particular system, and these are the details of the hardware. So agent will be able to see all the details of the hardware, when the asset was purchased, uh, who is the vendor, and uh, what other systems were linked to the asset, and uh, what other softwares are attached to her asset, and uh, what was the issue. Now, this has reduced the time for Sarah and the agent to, to resolve this issue. And after identifying, agent will resolve the issue for her and assign another available asset. She can also request from the service catalog that I would like to, to have this asset from the category and from the options that we have available. Now, um, quickly, uh, scenario number three. Uh, we talked about onboarding process, we talked about uh, reporting an issue, and this is requesting access to a new software. So through the service catalog, you can request a new asset or uh, a software from the uh, service catalog option. So Sarah again wants the software to, uh, to use Zoho to look into the customer details. 
Uh, she wants to look for the customer stories and listen to the recordings. So she needs access to Zoho platform. And now this is organized and structured catalog available. She can click catalog and request for the particular software, uh, which is in her case, Zoho. And then the agent will receive the request, identify the context, and uh, grant her the permission to start using the X, start using Zoho. Uh, so up till now, it's, uh, we talked about uh, service catalog and how it is uh, adding value to um, uh, daily em employee life. And uh, our, so our focus this year is definitely going to be uh, increasing employee experience. Um, we are in this business from last more than 12 years. And uh, we are trying more in, uh, towards listening to the customer's problem. As I mentioned earlier, we have more than 3,500 customers. We, have a, you, we are a US-based organization. But now uh, we have uh, changed the uh, positioning and approach towards how we are doing business. We want to do the business in which it will create an impact for our customers, how it's making their life easier, how they are using the system which is adding value for them. So um, for, as I mentioned, it's a different value proposition for um, employees, help this agent, and administrators. So it helps with um, increasing uh, the productivity by reducing the cost and taking right decisions in a, in a timely manner. So um, IT asset management, uh, a little bit after ITSM, I'm going to talk about uh, ITAM tools. Uh, so. An introduction to Asset Sonar. So, Asset Sonar is one of our products, and our brand name is EZO. And uh, this product is specifically designed for IT asset management that integrates with a lot of other uh, tools and it gives you the solution, which is a single source of truth of information. And um, so, this covers IT asset lifecycle management. When I say IT asset lifecycle management, it means that it gives you the uh, whole uh, overview of when the asset was purchased and uh, the, uh, the, the procure, total procurement and to the uh, closure of the assets. Then it covers hardware asset management. So all of your hardware devices uh, will be on the platform. Uh, we integrate with a lot of other systems. For example, uh, for hardware assets integration, we have Intune, Jamf, other SSCM, uh, Meraki, Jump Cloud. So we integrate with all of those uh, to bring your assets on a single source of truth of platform information. And then we have software asset. So in software asset, we have uh, cloud asset as well as on-premise asset. Uh, and it automatically syncs every 24 hours for any update in the system uh, that you remain updated with your current company assets and the softwares which are installed on the devices of your employees. Post-COVID, uh, the, the work and uh, the process has changed for a lot of organizations. Uh, they are more doing the hybrid working in which you definitely need a system that can track and gives you the whole view of who has what asset and what is happening to their assets. So we track locations, we track users' information, we track the uh, syncing every, every 24 hour automatically with the help of the solution. And we have an agent that we installed. Uh, so it's a centralized dashboard. And then definitely there are like multiple other things that we do, uh, auditing, uh, alerts, reporting that you can manage. And, uh, Inventory management as well is a part of a uh, uh, solution that we do inventory management. So, um, so as I, as I uh, mentioned earlier, so now we have changed the focus to be more customer-driven organization. We are working towards making an impact in how we can uh, making our customers' life easier. So these are some of the things that we will be launching um, in, in this year, uh, and I'm going to talk about those. So, there will be workflow-based triggers. Uh, we, we, we will be automating the workflows for, uh, for employees to save their ta time and uh, do the important tasks. And then there's going to be a request portal. So we have recently launched it for uh, one of our product, uh, which is Easy Office Inventory. It will be launched for Assets Owner as well. Uh, then where you have a request portal, you can just easily link the request portal and all of your employees can go 
they can log in their request and you will be, as an agent, you will receive the request and then you can take action on that request. Uh, then there's going to be predictive analysis. So if you have a system in place that manages and handle all of your assets and inventory, uh, this means there is someone who is, who is, on, who is checking what is going on. Uh, which of your vendor's device is performing well, which of your vendor's device is faulty, so you can make uh, better decisions in the future. Uh, so there is going to be a predictive ana analysis that we will be having, uh, which will help you optimize inventory and uh, asset procurement. Then uh, we also have a CMDB, uh, which, is, uh, which is managing uh, the configuration and to uh, connect uh, and helping teams to improve collaboration and productivity. And there are other few things as well that we will be launching. Um, it's a lot of stuff I cannot memorize, so I have noted down here, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, so it's going to be uh, catalog optimization that we will be doing. Uh, it's going to be machine learning, uh, because this year our focus is on uh, integration, automation, and AI. So we will be reducing and overcoming downtime issues, um, anomaly detection, so identification of even that happens to physical assets uh, uh, available in thousands of quantities and detection of mixed tickets using AI. Then we will be using generating a generative AI to manage all of these things and making improvements uh, to create, a, uh, create an impact. So this was it, a very quick walkthrough of uh, what we are doing, uh, how we are doing, and how it's uh, making an impact in uh, improving the employee experience. Uh, any questions? Yeah, please. Hi, um, I, I get the asset, the, the asset management stuff, so we, we we're able to do the kind of the pooling in the data from the like, Intune, SCC, MED, whatever. We've never quite got that lifecycle management bit um, because that's generally in our, in our world a bit part of like the SCM process. You're buying the it goes through the. So how yeah. do you track the yeah the the, right. the not just the, the the physical asset the 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 technical part? How do you asset the the entire lifecycle? All right, okay, so it's, it's a very good question. So yes, we do manage uh, the uh, asset lifecycle management. As you mentioned that there is a device uh, discovery is being done by, through, by other platforms like Intune, Jamf, uh, other SCCM, you are getting the hardware information. So for lifecycle management, we have a purchase order module. So through the purchasing order module, you can create a purchase order. So you can have the information of, you can add your vendors. We have a vendor module. In vendor module, you can add your vendors, and then you can raise purchase orders against those vendors. And then you would be able to track, okay, what is going to be the depreciation on this asset? When did I bought it? From where did I purchase it? And what is the performance of this particular asset? And then, as I mentioned, you, are, you will be able to take a predictive analysis and better decisions uh, to that procurement. And when I say life cycle, it means that when a person joins an organization, you assign an asset and throughout his period, so for example, he serves an organization for three to five years, uh, you would be able to see how many assets were assigned to him, when did we assign the first asset, and what did we do to the first asset after the two years. So we have an uh, automatic depreciation calculator that calculates the depreciation and sends you the alerts that uh, this, is, this was the alert that you set and two, two years has passed and you need to assign him a new device and you do the refurbishment process and dispose the asset. So we, you can dispose the asset and then you will have the ability to have, the, have new assets and that asset will be retired and you can add additional asset to it. I hope that answers your question. It, it, it does, but where we would struggle is that our first orders are to SAP. SAP, yeah, yeah. So that's also one of the things exactly to integrate with SAP. So we have received this request a lot when which enterprise organizations have SAP in place. So uh, we will be integrating with SAP as well, okay. yeah.
Yeah. And uh, by the way, we have open APIs as well. So you can integrate with SAP, and you can pull in the information through the SAP as well. Then a lot of warranty information. So for example, if you are uh, getting the devices from Dell, so we have an integration with Dell. So Dell's warranty automatically uh, pushes into our system. Yeah. yeah thank you. Uh, any other uh, insight? Any, any other point of view, question? No? <laughs> was, it, was it helpful? Did, did you guys were able to relate it to any of the work that you do? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so uh, if, if no one has any questions, or uh, maybe I want to ask again. <laughs> no? <laughs> OK. OK, all right. Uh, yeah, OK. Thank you. Sorry. I got one. Yes. Yeah. See? Can you, can you go through CMDB a little bit? Yes. Can you go through the CMDB a little bit more? Yeah. Can you give us some more information on that. Yes. I mean, we have, um, we, we use another tool, um, but uh, we haven't quite grasped CMDB. Yeah. So we want to be able to use that. So I know you've touched on it a little bit. I think it's, bit. it's really important to be able to use that within ITSM as well. Yes. It is, it is an essential tool uh, uh, of CMDB. Okay, so uh, we do have CMDB in place in which you connect your, the devices, uh, uh, but it is very basic at the moment. Uh, th that's why it's mentioned in the, in the future things that we will be doing. So in future, it will be uh, more automated. At the moment, we have uh, a CMDB that connects your uh, devices, connects your uh, network devices, and create an, uh, a link and, and a diagram between them. It's, it's a simple flow that at the moment that we are covering. But yes, in the future, uh, and when I say future, I mean this year or the uh, early next year, we will be doing the uh, anomaly detection and any uh, other fixes and issues that occurs uh, using the CMDB. So it's at the moment, it's very pr pretty basic. More, more questions or? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah. So we have a, a mobile application. So uh, for all the all our products, uh, you you can download a mobile application. So everyone has access to mobile applications. For example, if your uh, loft, laptop broke, you can open up the mobile application and raise a ticket from there. Yeah, it's a valid question. I was waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, any, any other insights? No? OK. Yeah. OK, OK, all right. So what I'll do is I will go to the first page. Okay, uh, this is the QR code to my LinkedIn account if you want to connect with me for any question you, that might occur later on. Yeah. This workshop was the employee experience. Yes. How are you measuring that? How are, you, how are we measuring the employee experience? Okay, so <clears throat> uh, as I said, that's the service catalog that we launched is basically uh, was uh, uh, designed uh, on, the, on the basis of improving the employee experience. How? Because uh, based on different requests, so we have a lot of uh, customers, and based on their requests, uh, they are facing this issue in which agents are responding back to them uh, uh, with delays. So to, rem to remove those delays, uh, we have launched Service Catalog and with the integration with Zendesk. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely it's uh, the efficiency. So if if the work is being done in two days and without a uh, catalog, the work is being done in five days. So you can measure the ratio between five and two. So definitely, if you know what product is that requires uh, an action, you would be able to take the action uh, 
effectively and immediately. But if you do not know, there is going to be back and forth communication between the agent and between the employee. So the employee will have to wait. Um, and if, if she, if for example, if Sarah is waiting for her laptop to be uh, replaced, then this is going to be a work that is going to be impacted. If, and if the work is being impacted, definitely it's going to decrease the efficiency of the organization and then one, uh, one thing into another and then it, it creates a huge impact in which uh, it affects the organization on a broader level. Yes, sir. Hi, Asim. My name is Brad. Uh, I'm just looking back through some of the notes from the summit's website, and it's got gotcha, you. What do employees want in the digital age? Now, based on some of the comments that were made in the, the morning session, where they're talking about introducing chatbots and things like that, and the different demographics and things like that within the company, yeah. how do you go in? I'm starting up a service desk. How do I go and engage with my users to find out what do they want? Do they want a chatbot? What do they want from a chatbot? What sort of things can you, t how can you give me some help with setting that up? Yeah, so, uh, so the, the, the problem that Service Catalog is resolving is actually giving the access to the employees to look for resolving the problem uh, on their end a little bit. So uh, without a catalog, it's just an open portal where you can raise a request, a blank request, without any information. But if you have a catalog, you would be able to see which of the thing that I would be needing, and he or she can link it with that. So that will uh, reduce the time. Obviously, it's a, it's a first step towards the digital age. Uh, it's not AI at the moment, but as I mentioned, these are the catalog optimizations using AI is one of the things that we will be doing in the, in the future. But at, at the moment, it's just a first step towards it. I hope that answers your question. Not really. Oh, Not really, because to me, it just sounds like you're trying to do a sales pitch of EZO instead of answering the question of, well, what do employees actually want from a service desk? Yeah, so definitely, employees from the service desk, they, they want the resolution of the issue that they are facing, right? So. I'm going to challenge you there. When you started this, you asked us if we've, how many of us here have had any issues with the IT departments? I'm, an, I'm part of the IT department. Yeah. I've had issues myself trying to raise a ticket for something I needed sorted with yeah. my hardware, right? Yeah. So I've had an issue with IT. Okay, so I know what I want from my IT department, from a service desk. Are we talking enterprise level? Are we talking just from an IT service desk? You're trying to, you're trying to um, provide us answers through EZO as a solution. Yeah. but you're not answering the questions that I'm asking where, how do we go and find out, based on the demographics of our business, what is the best way to find out what do the employees want? Yeah, so definitely I, I won't be able to give the demo of the product, but I'll try to answer the question. It's a, it's a very good point that you have raised. So uh, I'm not trying to sell the product here. Uh, uh, that's, not, that's not my main cause here, definitely. Side cause, but not the main one. The main, the main problem is that just to address uh, the issue that our customers have faced and the solution that we have launched for them, right? Uh, service desk management and ticketing solution has always been an issue for an organization. I do understand that. I, I also have a tech background. You are from the tech background, right? So here, what we are doing is we, are, we won't be able to do the 100% accuracy, but what we can do is we can reduce the SLA. We can reduce the time to resolve any issue for the customer. Right, and uh, so if it's an IT solution and you have a service desk management in system in place, but if on that window it does not show you the assets on the right side or on the left side, you won't be able to take the action in the first go. So definitely I don't have the screenshots of the system, but when you open up the service desk solution and you have an issue that, that's been raised for IT asset, IT assets specifically, and you have a window on the right side, and you have the information of what assets do you have available in the, in the organization. You have a whole list of assets. So in the one go, you can just resolve the problem. You can replace the asset, you can link, create the PO right from that portal. You don't have to swap the window and go to another solution to resolve the problem. 
So it's a quicker way of resolving the problem. So if the request is being raised um, uh, on day one, you would be able to respond back on the same day with not a response, with a solution. I hope now I did. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.